According to Wall Street, you're doing pretty well, too. These numbers on most metrics were better than the street had been anticipating, uh, had been better than anticipated. What, uh, what do you think is the highlight for you this quarter? Look, uh, I think it's the consistency, number one, and number two, that we're doing it across each of the three areas that we've indicated to our investor base that are important to us, demonstrated that we can get share in the wireless business, and we did it in the right way. I think the fundamental metrics underlying the wireless business were strong. Demonstrated that in our broadband business, where we're investing in fiber, that we've got a great product that customers love, and we can grow that. And then the HBO Max numbers are just really impressive. The team's executed incredibly well with the strategy we put in place at the end of last year. And, you know, you got to feel really good about that balanced performance. And as you said at the opening, when you do that, you generate more cash than you did, you know, the quarter last year. That's a good thing. You want to maintain the dividend. You want to uh, build out your networks and make everything great with, with wireless. You want to do 5G. Uh, I, I, the criticism is always that Verizon has a, an easier go of it because they can keep their eye on the ball of just of just one thing. I, I personally think Vestberg would love to be, you know, going to the Oscars and stuff like that. But but is, is there any criticism? Is that valid at all that, that you've got too many things on your plate and, and you know, expensive things, expensive development, content, all that, and it, that you're spread too thin? Well, look, we get? We have a management team that is capable in each of their areas, and we don't, uh, you know, I'm not making the decisions on every operating dynamic that's going on in the company day in and day out. I've got really capable leaders running the communications business. I've got a really capable leader running the media business, and, and they're responsible for making those right calls, and I do the stitching and the knitting together where it needs to be stitched and knitted together. And so uh, do we have a few more issues that come up and are the days a little bit more dynamic than maybe a singularly focused business? Oh, sure, I would acknowledge that that's the case. But the trick is to have the right individuals in place who make the right decisions. And I'll go back to the results to suggest I think we're demonstrating that we can do that and carry it forward. And I feel really comfortable with where we're at. John, on that count, though, it does give you more things to keep your eye on. And I guess I'd ask you, we had Hans Vetsberg on yesterday from Verizon. He said very cleanly that, one, his first priority is to make sure he's reinvesting in the business. Second is to grow the dividend. Your dividend right now is yielding 6.9 percent. What would you tell shareholders who look at that dividend? Is that something that is number one priority for you, number two, number three? How do you kind of balance all of those eggs? My first priority is to get the stock price up so the dividend's not, the yield is not 6.9 percent. And, uh, you know, that's what I'd like to do to fix the problem. <laughs> so uh, that's what this management team is focused on. And if we keep executing in the consistent fashion we are now, that problem takes care of itself with math. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.